Hello and welcome to my easy to understand guide to humans, the TV series and audiences. Humans is an optional set text that some schools choose to study for EDUCAS A-level media studies and the component two exam. If you study humans, you will also study the returned or Les Revenants. Um, and I have videos for both of these series on my channel alongside videos for the bridge and life on Mars, which are other optional texts too. This video is gonna focus entirely on audiences and humans. So humans has quite a broad audience from a range of backgrounds and it's important to understand what kind of people watched the show and why they were engaged by the show and also by its marketing materials. Fans of drama were obviously engaged by humans, people who perhaps watched other TV dramas, particularly those that had been made by Channel 4 um, or by the production companies that were involved as well. So um, those people who perhaps enjoyed um, other kudos made productions like Life on Mars um, or The Walking Dead that was made by AMC. And potentially those also who had enjoyed the existing um, original drama series Real Humans, the Swedish drama series. Um, so fans of TV drama would have been engaged by perhaps the companies that were involved or by the fact that it was based on an existing drama. The age range for humans again is incredibly broad but probably at least age 15 and over. Um, it was on after the 9pm watershed which is when we sort of assume that most children are going to be asleep and it's going to be a more adult audience. But the show itself had both teenage and adult cast members um, and the even the adult cast members ranged in age from sort of 18 all the way up to you know their sort of 70s and 80s. Um, it uh, is very much aimed at quite a wide age range. It is now uh, being streamed on Netflix and also on the Channel 4 website and that potentially is going to engage a younger target audience as well. Some programmes you can narrow down in terms of the gender and the age and the ethnicity of the target audience but actually in terms of gender and ethnicity humans again is, is really quite a broad spectrum in terms of the target audience so there's a variety of characters uh, both male and female in the show itself and again a variety of ethnicities it might, perhaps has someone for everyone in there you know it's going to appeal to both male and female audiences potentially particularly because there's obviously a female um, uh, lead characters might engage more women um, and the fact that there might be uh, a wider range of ethnicities represented in this TV drama than there are in many TV dramas when let's face it a lot of ethnic minorities are often underrepresented may well engage those people from ethnic minority backgrounds themselves who, who would perhaps want to see themselves represented in some way on screen. There is some sexualization of some of the female characters, uh, so people like Niska, for example, in the brothel, and even Anita, when uh, Joe and also Toby sexualize her in terms of the way they look at her and speak to her, and that may well appeal to sort of uh, straight male audiences as well. Now, fans of sci-fi are going to be really engaged by humans, um, and certainly the marketing materials made a real focus on the sci-fi genre. Lots of genre signifiers on the posters and in the trailers and on the website. You know, the colours blue, lots of references to technology and robots. A very clear focus on that kind of what if narrative. What if we developed synths that could be our kind of personal slaves? What if those synths went wrong? And that what if element is quite a strong genre convention of the sci-fi genre. Um, there is some unusual things about it in terms of the genre that perhaps audiences might be a bit um, surprised by. So the fact that it's quite family orientated and there's quite a lot of focus on emotions and relationships and marriage is quite unusual for sci-fi. So that might have put off some sci-fi fans, although it may well have engaged fans of, of generic drama. There are several intertextual references within the series to things like iRobot, uh, Stephen Hawking um, and, and other kind of AI and sci-fi based people, products, experts, etc. Um, and so perhaps those might have engaged people familiar with science fiction and real technology. There is some focus on the stars of the show as well. So people like Colin Morgan, um, William Hurt, 
you know, particularly focused on his name in the opening sequence and in the trailer as well. His face is, is featured quite prominently. Um, Will Tudor is, is focused on quite a lot, as well as Catherine Parkinson. Um, and so these use of stars may well engage their, those fans of those actors, their pre-sold audiences. Although many of these actors would, were perhaps less well known than, than perhaps they could have been. William Hurt was considered quite a famous actor and would have been quite recognisable to a lot of older audiences in particular. There's lots of entertainment for audiences in the set episode and in the series as a whole. Um, you know, there's lots of conflict, drama, um, arguments, fighting. There's this kind of build up of enigma and tension about is Anita a malfunctioning synth or, you know, what is she and what will she do? Um, you know, even in the set episode, it ends with the kind of cliffhanger endings of Anita carrying off the little girl and the audience are left wondering what's going to happen. We're sort of on the edge of our seats. So there's a lot to be entertained by for audiences and they may well really enjoy that. As well as entertainment, there's lots that an audience might be able to identify with as well. Characters they might be able to relate to, you know, domestic um, issues between husbands and wives and arguments about chores and teenagers not getting on with their parents. So there's lots that may well be familiar to a range of age groups there. And that uh, relatability may well draw in audiences who may recognise themselves and their lives on the screen. The marketing materials feature a lot of testimonials from people and from organisations and other media products that would make humans seem good quality. It would make it seem like it was a great show to watch. Um, and they act as opinion leaders that will convince other audiences that humans is a great show to see. The humans marketing materials uh, on social media also offer audiences a lot of opportunities for social interaction as well. You know, their use of Facebook and Twitter and their use of kind of interactive um, marketing and, and viral marketing means that a lot of audiences were talking about this online way before the show even started on TV. Um, and so offering that opportunity for social interaction is quite appealing. And there were lots of opportunities for audiences to get involved outside of official channels as well. So, you know, fans really were quite active. They created their own wiki pages. They wrote their own fan fiction. They started their own fan clubs and unofficial social media pages as well. And it's because audiences, particularly modern audiences now, they like that opportunity to get involved and to sort of textually poach ideas and, and become more active and speak back to producers creating their own content. The show really was very successful. Um, so the first episode had six million viewers, which was really quite a lot. Um, although the average episodes, uh, the episodes after that only averaged about three and a half million. That's quite normal and still quite a good average for a series. Um, it won several BAFTAs, it got very positive responses online as well and those positive responses online would have led to a lot more people watching it as well as those awards making it feel like good quality as well and many people will have watched it because of that. Some audiences may have felt that the show wasn't for them, they may have taken a more negotiated or oppositional viewpoint. It may be that they felt that they were expecting a sci-fi drama and it was more of a kind of family emotional drama instead. Perhaps they, some audiences may not have liked female lead characters, they might have been expecting more male leads, particularly because sci-fi is often quite a male-led genre. Some people may have felt that it was just a carbon copy of um, other sci-fi programmes like Real Humans. You know, they've seen that kind of what happens when AI goes wrong a million times before in films like iRobot and AI and, you know, lots of other films and programmes have done that kind of storyline before. So some people may have felt it wasn't particularly original. Some audiences also felt that whilst the show was quite inclusive and diverse in terms of the cost, the representations weren't that popular because um, you, whilst you had you know, a range of people from sort of black and Asian backgrounds, um, those black and Asian actors were almost all playing synths. Um, the white actors and the white characters were kind of synth owners, people in positions of power like the police, um, you know, lawyers, that kind of thing, um, doctors, researchers, scientists. And the um, black and Asian um, characters were almost all synths, so basically slaves. And whilst this could have been a really great allegory in terms of um, it could have been a teaching moment about kind of trying to get the audience to understand the um, like racial inequality and the hierarchy within um, uh, race historically, um, a lot of audiences felt like it was almost tokenism, like putting people from ethnic minorities into lead roles, but still just representing them as being... Uh, 
enslaved and trapped and weaker and less powerful. So some audiences may have reacted in a more oppositional way. So that was my easy to understand guide to humans and audiences. Don't forget to hit subscribe to get notifications whenever I upload any other videos that might be relevant for you and your course or qualification. And don't forget, leave a comment below if there's anything that you would like me to do a video about that I don't already have on my channel.